Hello and welcome back to the Academic Society. It's Toyin here. I'm excited to talk about online classes or online grad school. So my program was all in person, but someone in my Facebook group asked about starting grad school. They're starting, but their program is completely online. And they just asked for general tips and advice. And the students in my Facebook group gave some amazing advice. I'm going to share some of the pieces of advice that they gave because I think it may be really helpful for you if you're in an online grad program or if you are taking classes online this semester. All right, so I am Toyin. I'm the founder of the Academic Society. I got my PhD in math and I landed my dream job as a lecture at a university and I also create these videos to help grad students and academics with time management and productivity and I also share a little bit of my academic lifestyle. All right, so let's get into the video. So let me actually read the um, Facebook post, the question posed by the student. All right, so this student says, hey everyone, super excited to be a part of this group. I will be starting my first semester of grad school this upcoming January and I'm so nervous. My program is 100% online and I'm concerned if I truly have the discipline to do, well as, do as well as I want to. More, more than likely, I will be working full time as well as keeping up with extracurriculars. Two classes per semester. I want to do way better than I did in undergrad. My honest goal is to get A's in both classes. Any advice or tips, anything I should be doing to now to prepare? I've received a few readings early, so I've already started to read and take notes. Thank you in advance, everyone. Uh, first of all, I love that the student is already taking action and not waiting until the last minute to like get in the grad school mindset and actually starting the readings ahead of time. That's what a gift for your school or your professors to give you things ahead of time. Like that is not always the case. So that is great. And so I looked in the comments and there was some great advice given. I'm going to share three things that people said. Um, so I just want to note that this is advice from grad students who have taken online, who are in online programs or have taken completely online classes. Okay, so the first piece of advice is that if your program is very reading, like heavy, like heavy with a lot, a lot of reading, it may be more beneficial to try not to absorb everything, but just get like the overall highlight. So don't put the pressure on yourself to read and understand every single word and every paper that you are asked to read. This student recommends to read with purpose and go for big ideas. When reading scholarly articles, the student recommends to read the abstract, the introduction and conclusions in detail. and and just skim through the lit review part. And they said, if you are planning to um, do your own independent research with um, a, on a similar topic, then that's when you want to dive deep into the methodology and like go more in detail when you're doing your reading. But if it's just to get the idea of what's happening, you may not need to be so detailed in your reading and force yourself to understand and absorb every single word. All right, so the next piece of advice is from a student who is also working full time while they're taking um, classes online or while their grad program is online. And they said, and they said, if you're working a full time job, it is difficult to do your studying after a full day's work. So this student says that they actually get all of their grad school work done on the weekends because after work, they're just too drained to get anything done. And the student chooses to work on the weekends because they feel more refreshed and they're more able to get the work done when on the weekends and not after a long day of work. But then they come back and say, really, the real piece of advice is to find what works for you. So whenever you feel most refreshed and ready to work on your work, that's when you should spend the bulk of your time studying and prepping for classes. And I don't think the student is saying don't do any work during the week, but don't force yourself and feel guilty and feel bad if you're only able to do an hour of reading after working all day. The next piece of advice is to make study groups early on. So this student said this advice was given to her by her department and they didn't do it, but they should have. So this student recommends to make friends in the very first week and then also reach out to people that are in your time zone to go over and like review materials every other week. 
I was like, that's a great idea. Have like, because every week may be a lot because you're working on the weekends likely, but every other week having some time to review what you've learned with your classmates, it's a great way to meet your classmates and get to know them and feel more of a community, but also to really understand the material and make sure that um, you're getting different perspectives and that you're getting the most out of your grad school experience. And then actually there are four pieces of advice. So the last piece of advice is to know your non-negotiable. So these are the things that you have to do for yourself. So is it like spending time with your family? Is it going for a walk? Is it being active? Is it cooking for yourself? Like what are these non-negotiables that you're going in before the semester starts saying, these are the things that I don't wanna lose. And this student said, with your non-negotiables, you need to do everything you can to protect them because it will help you maintain your mental and emotional health. Also, this student says, don't feel guilty for resting and taking breaks. Please don't, you need to rest. And they say you'll be much more productive after taking a day of rest and getting your work done versus trying to push through when you're already tired. And I completely agree. And these pieces of advice are so aligned with the advice that I give to my students in the academic society. So I love to see it. So if you are starting a grad program, whether online or in person or a hybrid or whatever, I want you to know exactly what to expect when you start your program. And so I have a free master class that teaches you how to figure out how can you prepare for grad school if you've never been in grad school before how do you know what to expect and I help take the anxiety out of that and I share like mistakes that you don't want to fall into and how you can get started preparing before your semester even begins all right so I hope that this video was helpful for you if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you are new here consider subscribing I create new videos every Sunday thank you so much for watching I will see you next week bye